Update, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has apologized for his controversial statements about vaccine mandates and Nazi Germany, saying he is truly and deeply sorry. I apologize for my reference to Anne Frank, especially to families that suffered the Holocaust horrors. My intention was to use examples of past barbarism to show the perils from new technologies of control. To the extent my remarks caused hurt, I am truly and deeply sorry, he tweeted Tuesday morning. Kennedy first drew controversy after speaking at an anti-vaccine rally in Washington D.C. on Sunday, where he suggested that people who are unvaccinated face more oppression than people who lived in Nazi Germany. Even in Hitler's Germany, you could cross the Alps into Switzerland, you can hide in. Kennedy's wife and Curb Your Enthusiasm star Cheryl Hines distanced herself from her husband's statements, after being urged by her Twitter followers to take a stance. On Monday night, she tweeted my husband's opinions are not a reflection of my own. While we love each other, we differ on many current issues. She then doubled down on Tuesday morning, calling her husband's statements reprehensible and insensitive. My husband's reference to Anne Frank at a mandate rally in D.C. was reprehensible and insensitive. The atrocities that millions enduring during the Holocaust should never be compared to anyone or anything. His opinions are not a reflection of my own, she tweeted. The Auschwitz Memorial also condemned Kennedy's comments on Twitter, writing, exploiting of the tragedy of people who suffered, were humiliated, tortured and murdered by the totalitarian regime of Nazi Germany, including children like Anne Frank, in a debate about vaccines and limitations during GLP.